Maple Leaf. Oh yeah, here, absolutely. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ben Bloom with CBC News, and we are here live in Toronto ahead of game one of the NBA Finals. I'm with a Raptors fan favorite, Jerome Williams. Come on, Ben. Let's, let's get this going. Let's rouse up the dog pound. Let's, let's get to it. You guys, you know what time it is. You got to start sending us these questions because I'm here for a short period of time. Let's get it. And we actually already have a question right now from the audience. Danny okay. Ribeiro, he wants to know who's the best option for the Raptors to start at the five? Marc Gasol or Serge Ibaka? You know what? Um, you said Ben. What is it, Danny? Yep. Danny. Danny, that's a great question. I think uh, Marc Gasol. Uh, you, you, Serge brings so much energy off the bench, and Marc is, you know, that 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 slow starter that kind of gets the, gets the job done with his passing, his rebounding, and, and his defense. Um, I think Serge gets a little bit more offensively because he, he moves around the basket a little bit more. Uh, so coming off the bench with Van Lee, I think that's probably the best place. And then you also got to see how it goes too because the young players from Golden State that come off the bench are, are, are very active. So Kevin Looney uh, as a starter going up against Marc Gasol, I think we have an advantage. And Marc Gasol, for those of you who only just jumped on the Raptors bandwagon, he's a former NBA Defensive Player of the Year, you know, former All-Star. That's right. And we got the questions rolling in. Another matchup question from Twitter, from Kruhi. I'm curious about the matchups, mismatches between the two teams, you know, position by position. Let's do a breakdown, Raptors, Warriors. How do we stack up? Come on, there's, I mean, there's so many different ways that you can look at this. First, you know, you start at the point guard position, Steph Curry, Kyle Lowry. Well, those two players, I mean, obviously people are gonna say, well, Steph Curry is obviously a two-time MVP, you know, uh, one of the, you know, prolific scorers in the, in the NBA. And yes, do Golden State have a slight advantage there? Yes, but you do not discount the fact that Kyle Lowry is in the top 10 in point guards in the NBA. He can play, he's a leader, he's a, he's a dog, if you wanna, you know, no pun intended, but he really is a dog in terms of NBA terms, playing defense, gritty, will get you that offensive rebound when you need it, will get you that assist when you need it, and we'll get that stop and that steal when you need it. So there's a lot that's going on in terms of that matchup. When you move down to the two spot with Clay Thompson and Danny Green, well, you know, Clay Thompson, catch and shoot, his, 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 his game is, uh, you know, uh, improved throughout the playoffs really got off to a slow start but then boom picked it right up and got hot we're looking for danny green to get hot now you know he's been in a little bit of a shooting slump but every series is different it could be his series right now this could be his time to get hot so right now i'd give that little edge to the golden state warriors but we come down to what now we're getting into the small forward spot let's just say Kawhi leonard Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard. I'm not even going to talk about who's going to go to state because Kawhi Leonard is going to be what it takes to get the job done. But we'll move on to the fourth spot, which is my position, the power forward. Now, these two players right here, they are a la JYD 2.0, whatever you want to call it. Draymond Green for Golden State Warriors, walking triple-double versus Pascal Siakam. Spicy Pete is what we call him, Ben. Spicy Pete. I, I really, to be honest with you, the only slight edge I'm going to give to Draymond Green is the fact that he has championships. He's been there before. He knows what it takes. And you have this up-and-coming, energetic, athletic, defender, offensive guy, can pass as well. And I think a lot more athletic than Draymond Green. So, slight edge to Draymond Green, but Pascal, this is your time. You can make this difference and, 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 and make your mark. We go to the center spot. Last but not least, we already talked about it earlier. We're going to give it to Mark Gasol, the starter, going against Kevon Looney, who I coached at the USA Basketball Top 100 MBPA, so I know a lot about his game. Uh, I have to give, you know, the obvious is Mark Gasol. He's a reigning defensive player of the year. He's going to be able to defend the paint. He's a smart player. He can pass the ball. He can offensive rebound, and he can score down low. So we have to give that edge to the Raptors on that end. So there you have it, man. Keep the questions coming, Ben. Well, we got another one right away. Mark Raymond Ashwakagan asks, do we have a chance to win one game or win it all? Well, wait a minute. What's his name? Uh, his name is Mark Raymond. Mark Raymond. Come on now. This is Dog Pound. Do we have a chance? What are you talking about? Next question. Next question. All right. Susie McHugh on Facebook asks, 
This one's, she's getting right to brass tacks. What will the final score be in tonight's game? Wow, Susie, that's, that's a good question right there. Let me take my honest opinion. First game, I think we're gonna top the hundreds because there's gonna be a game of runs. So let me say 108 to 105. In favor Raptors. of? Oh! Raptors, 108 You heard it here, folks. Susie, let's go. All right, so folks, keep your questions coming in. We're loving the interaction here. Let's catch some of the recent fans. I don't want to say bandwagon, but let's call them bandwagon fans. They're hopping on, they're getting excited. You're getting a lot of bandwagon fans down in the States. 48 out of the 50 some odd states in the United States are cheering for the Raptors. We the North has moved South. We are the North and we're the South. How about that? You might even say we the North America. That's it, that's it, we the North America. Come on now. So talking big moments in this Raptors playoff run, the four bounces that changed everything. We call them the four nuggets. The four nuggets. The four nuggets on the rim, just boink, 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 boink. I mean, it was boinking all over the place, and, and guess what? Went his way. I mean, that's the shot, that's the moment, that's, that's a Michael Jordan-esque moment. A Jordan-esque moment. That's a Jordan, that you have to, it, it was on, it, that was the epitome of like when Mike hit the shot and left his hand up. That, it was that type of moment. It was that type of moment, but bigger. There's never been a game seven buzzer beater in the history of the game. And right now we are living history. First time the NBA Finals have come north of the U.S. border. And we actually have our buddy Danny Ribeiro coming back with another comment. Come on, Dan. We need OG on the perimeter for that defense. What yes. do you think? Yes. Will yes. we see OG come back this series? I hope so. You know, that appendix is a, is a tough injury to come from. You know, you get surgery. I mean, it, it, it's amazing to me the, 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 how fast players are able to recover. Um, if we are able to get that length and that athleticism back on our perimeter defense, that's just going to help boost our bench. He's a three-point threat as well. Uh, and that's going to aid us in, if, in the case of Kevin Durant coming back. Kevin Durant, you know, calf strain is a very serious issue and problem. I, I, I had a calf strain about two years ago playing for the big three. And literally that was my first time ever having a calf strain. And it, I was like, why do they call this a calf strain? It's like they should call this like a calf explosion because wow. basically that's what it feels like. It feels like your calf explodes and then it's useless. You can't run, jump, move with any feed, uh, speed without serious, severe pain. And it takes, uh, you know, weeks for it to recover. And it's a slow process because every day is like two or three cells rebuilding themselves. And it just compounds over time, you get better. So with Kevin Durant being out with that calf strain, I know exactly the feeling that he has trying to get back. Gotta wait for those cells to recover. But it's a calf explosion, Ben. I don't know why they just call it a strain, because I I've strained my pinky finger, I've strained a rib, I've strained, you know, a thigh muscle and strains are a couple of days. An explosion? Weeks. So for any doctors out there, if you want to change the terminology, let us know first. Be greatly appreciative. Uh, we got we got a big we got a we got a heart we got a fastball coming in on this one. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Mullen on Facebook. Actually, we're gonna switch out. Apologies, Jonathan. Tracy MG on Facebook. Do you think when the Raptors win it all, it'll convince Kawhi to stay? Wow, wow. I said fastball. That's good, one. Tracy. Listen up. If we win this championship, when we win it, Tracy, as you have stated now, he has to sign. First of all, let's run down the list. Ben how sweet, free. I mean, Ben, you'd like a free penthouse, wouldn't you? Downtown Toronto, overlooking the lake. Wouldn't say no to that. Correct. Also, all you can eat forever, for life, food at all the major restaurants. I mean, you're talking about chef galore here. Just, you know, roll out of bed. You know what? I'm feeling like a little, you know, morning pastry run down to your spot oh it's on us for life i mean who does that i tell you who does that the north the north does this okay there's still spots in toronto where jyd eats for free 
okay? Can't tell you where those places are because I don't have my picture posted up in the front glass. But when I get there, I find out. It's a good plug. He got a sign. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and we got another one coming in. Actually, Connor on YouTube, JYD is a legend. Connor, you know, shout out, man, dog pan. <laughs> and he's also got a question for you in addition to the compliments. Who do you see being the most important player in this series? You know what, I've, I've said it uh, a few times today. I really feel like Kyle Lowry is the most important. Um, Kawhi's gonna hit big shots uh, and he's gonna play great defense. But Kyle Lowry's guarding Steph Curry, who just single-handedly took a 4-0 series against Portland Trailblazers without a loss, without Kevin Durant. And Kyle Lowry is gonna be the key because not only is he the backbone, he's been here the longest, he's, 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 he's invested in this city, he's invested in the, in the organization, and he's done a lot. And I think that that's the guy, when, when everything hits the fan, they're gonna look to Kyle Lowry. From North Philly to your city. Oh, I like that one. North that, Philly to your city, I that, like. They sit, played over the PA before the player introductions Ooh. and it rhymes, it has to be good. Yeah, it has to. That's it for us here. Game one is tonight, Raptors Warriors, 9 p.m. Eastern. For CBC News, I'm Ben Bloom here with the junkyard dog, Jerome Williams. Bring your jerseys tonight, fellas and ladies. It's dog pound time. Bark! Her, 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 her. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Just give it a second just because oh, sure. the camera's still rolling. Oh. Just we have to